Today we're gonna talk about La Diva, Mirella, Freni. <laughs> Freni was born in 1935 in Modena. When she was a kid, her mother was working in a tobacco factory. She was working with the mother of Pavarotti. So Freni and Pavarotti, they literally grew up together. They were an iconic couple on stage and they were like brother and sister in real life. Freni was a singing child prodigy. At 10, she already won a singing competition. So after that, her mom took her to see a very famous tenor and the guy was ecstatic. If she keeps on going like this, she could become one of the best singers of all time. And she did. She took private singing lessons when she was a teenager and at only 19 years old, she made her debut on the stage of the theater of her hometown. After that, Pavarotti and her took lessons with the same guy. Andavamo tre volte alla settimana a Mantova dal maestro Campo Gagliani insieme a studiare. She started her career in Italy, but she became an international name when she sang in Don Giovanni at the Glyndebourne Festival in the UK. A year after that, as she was rehearsing a Handel opera at the small stage of La Scala, one afternoon, the director of the big Scala, the real deal, comes to the rehearsal to ask her to step in for tonight's show in Falstaff. Scala, e non ho neanche visto la, la, la produzione, non so niente, c'era il maestro Votto che dirigeva. After she pulled that off, they kept her in the big Scala. In 1963, she became the most internationally acclaimed Mimi of all time. Mimi is the main character in La Bohème, and she's the one who sings this. Nice, right? A year after that success, she came back to La Scala, this time to sing Traviata. But that did not go very well. La Scala has a very fiery audience. Scalas was the last Traviata to have performed there, and the audience adored her. So when this new sensation, Freni, dares to sing the role of La Calas, they literally attacked her. The people came in with whistles, so they were not only booing her, they were like, they were throwing things at her while she was on stage. It was madness, apparently. Devo dire che è stata una cosa preparata lì perché il pubblico non va un certo parte di pubblico su con de, per, dei fischi per fischiare e fare confusione e buttare giù delle cose che puzzolenti sul pubblico che in platea. But don't worry about her. She kept on singing that night like a real trooper. And she kept on singing for 42 more years. She sang everywhere. She was the bel canto soprano. In 2005, she finished her performing career at the Washington National Opera. She was 70 years old. After that, she became a teacher at the Academy of La Scala and another academy in her hometown. For a public tribute, they moved her coffin from the funeral home to the theater in which she first started in her hometown. Mi emociona vedere questo teatro. 